Donald Trump stood up for the people of Colorado to have a vote. Donald Trump tried to enfranchise people, give them a greater voice, in contrast to Ted Cruz, who willingly stood against the people of Colorado, who willingly has been playing this delegate game to try to take the people's will out of the, out of the equation. That's what the Washington establishment does. They throw out the popular vote, they throw out the will of the people, and they put their own personal aspirations first. That's what Ted Cruz has been doing the last I, few I, weeks. I, it's why he I'd, is I'd losing. like to respond to that. Yeah. Please do. I'd like to respond to that. Kaylee, I don't know you. Seriously, do you have any integrity at all? I just Ooh, have to know. Ouch. I mean, is Come it that now, important Steve. to be on national television? You Let's darn well know 65,000 people. I am keeping it professional. She's the one lying. 65,000 people voted in Colorado at this thing called a caucus, called an election. There has been no voterless elections. Every delegate has been elected, including the delegates unbound that Donald Trump got in Pennsylvania the other night. This is the biggest lie and the biggest scam from a guy that's lied repeatedly throughout this entire campaign, whose campaign is built on a lie. I'm Mr. Anti-Establishment when I wrote all these guys' checks. Yesterday, Mr. Trump was defending Ditch McConnell. Today, he's taking hosannas from John Boehner. This whole thing is a scam. And there Steve, are millions of Americans that watch people like you sit here and go on these shows and Scotty Hughes and the rest of this, you know, this cabal of motley crew of advisors who just sit here and fet this guy and lie about him and for him every single day. And millions of Americans are freaking just sick of it. Stop well, hominem, lying. There wasn't a voterless hom- election in Colorado. You're a liar. Steve, Stop lying, please. Wow, wow. Ad- Hang on a second. Hang on a second. No one comes on my show and calls anyone a liar. With all due respect, the deal in Colorado is yes, you are correct. People vote. I had somebody on who wanted to become a delegate. If I'm Thus, correct, there is she voting lied. to become a well, delegate. If, if I'm correct, she lied, But Brooke, it's not a... Why is that oh, bad? Steve. If I'm correct, she lied. She See, lied. Ad- Why is it wrong? Steve, well, you're the one. I, you just I can jump in here. I can, Hold on, wait. Let, me, let me respond really quickly. Ad hominem attacks, by the way, are the last line of defense when the facts aren't on your side. It's a verifiable fact that Colorado canceled its presidential preference poll in August. Yes, they resorted to a four-tiered caucus system with the intent of disenfranchising the voters. It's also a verifiable fact that Colorado announced last you week that they would re- Wait, let me finish, Steve. I sat here patiently. You can't I sat here patiently. disenfranchise voters when they Steve. vote. Steve, I patiently let you finish. One more sentence, if you can tolerate it. It is also a verifiable fact that last week Colorado announced that they would bring back the primary next year. They would allow the people to vote next year. All of those are verifiable facts. I hope someone fact checks this segment.